In this mini lecture, we're going to talk about engineering excellence, understanding diversity, equity, inclusion, and intersectionality in the engineering context. We briefly discussed most of these topics in our first workshop, and so I'm just going to briefly go over the uh, information in Module 1, starting with the question, what is communication? In Module 1, you learned about the transactional model of communication, uh, using this diagram, which has two communicators who are communicating through various channels and are communicating from within their own environments and coming together in the center to create shared meaning and are communicating through, in despite of, but then also kind of because of various noise factors that play a part in shaping communication. We discussed how all communication exists on a continuum between impersonal and interpersonal and where your communication falls on that continuum depends on your relational history, the relational rules, and the relational uniqueness of the communication relationship between you and the other communicator. We discussed how communication is culturally situated. We also discussed how communication is co-culturally influenced, including a variety of your backgrounds, interests, hobbies, memberships, etc. We also discussed reality as being constructed through communication, including education, where your textbooks, the instructors who teach you the content that they choose to cover and how they cover it and discuss it, the labs that you work in, the assignments that you were asked to do, all of those things construct your reality within your profession. Now there was some difficulty in discussing this during the workshop, so an additional mini lecture has been added to specifically cover this topic. We also discussed the professional engineering demand for recent graduates to have intercultural and interpersonal communication competency. And we looked at some of those demands through several international accrediting bodies and federations, including ABET, who's responsible for accrediting programs within the United States. One of the aspects that they look at is can recent engineering graduates recognize engineering impacts in a broader context? Here we see the Federation of Engineering Institutions of Asia and the Pacific looking at the same factors. And the European Network for Accreditation of Engineering Education, checking to make sure that bachelor degree graduates have an awareness of the wider multidisciplinary context of engineering and are aware of the non-technical implications of engineering practice. So again, looking at recognizing engineering impacts engineering bachelor's degree graduates are also expected to have the ability to communicate effectively on complex engineering activities with the engineering community and with society at large and to communicate effectively with a range of audiences. These three organizations also call attention to the importance of engineering education to prepare engineering graduates to work on multidisciplinary and multicultural teams with a high degree of competence and awareness for others. That engineering graduates come equipped with these communication-based competencies is extremely important to engineering employers. But does it really make sense to include communication in engineering education? It does. And hopefully this is an obvious yes for you. Engineers reportedly spend about 60% of their professional time communicating and this is usually done in one-on-one -on -one and small group situations, which means that interpersonal communication competence, including the intercultural communication aspect of interpersonal communication, is really important. Things like emails, reports, discussions, texts, and meetings are all going to be part of your professional context no matter what. But the average engineering student has difficulty conceptualizing this reality and many of you may envision yourselves as doing mostly solitary work and only writing the occasional email or technical report. However, 
even if you do envision yourself as staying in an entry level position where you do mostly solitary work and you don't like make decisions or work as part of a team or part of projects, you're still going to be reporting to someone and you're still going to be writing emails and you're going to write a lot of technical reports. So the communication content is still relevant to you. And if you envision yourself as an above average engineer who is going to make decisions and who is going to work as part of or even lead teams and projects, then the communication content is especially relevant to your professional engineering trajectory. The communication content in this course is objectively difficult. And this is in part because you're being asked to think about things that you aren't usually asked to think about and also to make connections between technical and social topics that you aren't usually asked to make connections between. You're being asked to think in ways that may be unfamiliar to you and that aren't part of your quote unquote normal engineering education or experience. You're literally being asked to make new connections in your brain between different topics. And this can be really hard. Communication topics can be difficult even for communication majors and experts because these topics are constantly asking you to think differently and to think from different perspectives and to think with different things as part of the equation. And thinking differently and thinking from different perspectives and adding new things into the equation all the time requires a lot of awareness and focus. And that can be very difficult. In this module, you're asked to think about intersectionality, diversity, equity, and inclusion in engineering and computer science. And again, these are not things you're usually asked to think about in these contexts. And you are also asked to apply these concepts to your engineering or computer science environment. So it adds an additional layer of complexity. But despite the difficulties, I know you can do it. So let's go.